You, 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 too. What's going on? Big boy Prince. Prince by the big boy. Back at it again. Dropping more gems. How y'all doing today? Is everybody doing all right? You know I got to thank everybody for tuning in to the big boy channel. Uh, y'all know I love y'all. appreciate it. You know y'all the reason why I do it because... If y'all wasn't out there watching, there wouldn't be nothing for me to make. So today, we are tackling the 3880. What we're doing is, we are um, we already, in the previous video, we took the case off. So today, we, uh, excuse me, uh, previous video a little bit earlier, probably about 30 minutes ago. We are going to convert this 3880 into a... Uh, DTF. Hey, I don't need you know the big boy. I don't need to put it around. Let's go get started because it's gonna be a it, it's gonna be a a event. You know what I mean? So, I guess the first thing uh, we want to do is we want to um, we're gonna uh, deal with the cartridges. So, what we do is first thing we're gonna do we're gonna take out the yellow, and what we're gonna do is. I use a knife. We'll take out the first one. What I use, I use a knife and I'll grab this and I will use it and wedge it up. Wedge it up, wedge it up. And um, well, I guess I need to do it. Let me show you. I just barely be lightly, you know, you just barely do it and it, it actually comes right on up. It's not hard. And what you do is you grab the you grab the the refillable cartridge now the 3800s and the 3880s are a little bit different for some reason it's you know it confuses a lot of you know I, I got confused myself but with these you see the cartridge you there's a little uh, there's a little knob right here you don't pull the chip up you definitely don't pull the chip up. I made that mistake before. But there's a little tab on the side. You see how I put it on the tab? Yes. You see how they came up? Excellent. So what you do is you pull that up and you take the original Epson chip. You have to have a original Epson chips or it will not work. And what you do is, you see that? The four, there's four and three. The four goes in the front and the three goes in the bottom. There is a little slot right here, right there that the chip goes in. Put it in there. Just, uh, you see it in there? It just lays flat. And then you take this, the top of it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh -oh. Y'all excuse me. I'm not trying to, uh, there we go. Now we're going to, you're going to. Put it in. Oh, you see this? We're just gonna put it in, just like that. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. You see it? The four at the front, just like the beginning. The four at the top. The four at the top here. Up. And you just put it. Uh oh. You just put it in. I just press down. You see that? I just press down on. It wasn't even hard. Here, let me show you again. Put it in. Uh-oh, and I dropped it that time. <laughs> yep, so we're going to do it one more time just to make sure because we want to make sure everybody get it. You see how we have it faced? It has the four up. See how the four up? And you just... Uh-oh. Just square. Square. Pow! Just that simple. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Okay, now I'm gonna undo that because these chips are very important. 3800 and 3880 chips are kind of expensive because these are the chips that you have to have the originals on for them to read. So you like to keep them together. You don't want to get them mixed up. You don't want uh, nothing. Keep them straight. Now, 
what you do is like this right here uh there is a little hole right here i'm sorry let me show you okay look this this little thing you pull this out if you use a little one you get the syringe or my preference which i'm going to use with these with this one is um what i prefer bang 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 no i'm, I'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry what this does is this goes in like like this and that way you can refill it you can refill it you see how they came up and you can refill it without taking it out and putting it in unlike these cartridges right here you have to pull them out and refill it so that saves a lot of problem you don't have to worry about it reading and not reading you know what i mean so that is you know definitely what a, a plus that i'm going to use you definitely take you know this thing off um it there was it was one on her these are the cartridges that i use sometimes i run flush uh through my printer to uh you know clean the systems and flush it out and so you know i keep extras around but these i really prefer these ink out um you know i don't forget how much the price was 150 160 for nine of them but I, like i say it's going to save you a lot of headache in the long run so and ink out don't pay me i'm just doing that because uh you know hey I'm trying to tell y'all where y'all can get a good quality product okay now we're going to go on to the so you're gonna okay yes i'm sorry you're going to take a syringe you're going to get your ink and you're gonna fill it up. Uh, the yellow goes in the yellow. The way I set mine up, the way I set mine up is I have yellow, I have, I have pure black, cyan, magenta, yellow, white, 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 empty. White, 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 uh, pure black, cyan, Magenta yellow empty. That's how I run it. That's the other settings that I use. I think it's easier. I think it's easier. Those are my purpose. They have different settings in there of what you can use if you want. Okay, let, let, let me get, okay. Let me tell you, uh, you get some white. Uh, if you use the guns, if you use the guns, you use the funnel. If you use, if you use these right here, uh, the regular ones, then you use the uh, syringe. So, enough about that. Like, if you have any questions, please, um, you know, just let me know. Like I say, I, you know, I'm always here. So, I'm going to give y'all a pretty good, uh, give you a better look of what we're going to do. We definitely have to take the wheels out. Hold up. I'm going to probably have to hold it. So, hold on one second. All right, now we back, we back, we back. Okay, I want to make sure y'all got a really good view of this. Okay, I'm gonna show you on this one right here. What you do is, um, we're gonna take out the wheels. And you see I have a little pick tool right here. And what we're gonna do is, we're just gonna go up under it. You just go up under it and you, and you, you see how they came out? And you want to make sure you get everything out. There's a little spring. There's a uh, spring and wheels. But I wanted you to see how that is done. And on uh, my 3880, I take all of them out except for the last two by the printer. Every, every wheel has to go. Every wheel has to go. So I'm going to show you again. You, you, you get it. And you, oh, I'm sorry, let me see where you can see it. Let me do one where you can see, see that right there. You just get up in there and you just lift up and it comes right out. And there's a little, there's a little spring. Make sure you get the spring out and make sure you get, there's two wheels, make sure you get those out. And some of them have one, so, I will hit you back once I have all of them out. All of these have to be out. 
All of these have to be out in order for it to, except for the last two by the printhead. The last two by the printhead, you leave those in. I'll be back once we take them all out and I'll show you. All right, now that we got all the, um, we have all those wheels taken out. For, uh, uh, this is, I always want to remind you, this is how a big boy does it. For some reason, these has a tendency to rub. So what does I do? I take them all out except for this first one right here. And the way we do that, first of all, what we're going to do, I like to grab a knife and we grab it by the holes. There's a little hole. And I'll just to give you, there's a hole right here. There's a hole right here. Hole right here. Right here. Uh, where is it? Hold that. Hold right here. Hold right here. And they're all the way down. But what we're going to do is we're going to take the uh, knife and we're going to stick it in the little hole. And we just wiggle it so it'll come loose. And what I do is after I get in the two holes, I, you know, I go in there and I peel on, try to pull, pull them out a little bit. But you got to get in that hole good. Mm -hmm. Okay, now you see how it's starting to come out? Let's get this last hole over here. It's kind of stuck in there a little bit. Come on out. Oh, you're coming, buddy. Like I say, I just leave this last one, but I like to kind of get it started. It makes it a lot easier. It's not working. It don't want to work right. She don't want to she don't want to go so i know easy way to do it but what we're going to do is to get it out you're going to on the top let me show you on the this is the top panel push it in and it comes down you see that push it in and it comes down so i'm gonna push it back in and I'm gonna show you, but I had to show you that. Uh oh, because I want to make sure you get a good look. I've seen this done, people do it, but you really can't see a lot of it. So what you're doing is, you see how I just burned it? Okay, and now you see it's at a sweet spot. Now it's kind of here to where you can get it out. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna, perfect, you see that? Hope you've seen it. You press down on those holes, and then it's gonna come right on out. It came right on out. So you have to be gentle with this because this can get off track. So be gentle, and then you just press it back up in there. And now it's it. I've actually broke that before. I had to go pay to get it fixed. So be very, very gentle with that. It's basically just goes off track. So now basically what we're gonna do is you have your cartridges in. Uh, now we're gonna run, we're gonna cut it back on. Give me a second, I'm gonna get everything set up and we're gonna run a couple of power cleans. All right, you see we got all the inks filled up. Now we have nothing to do but to cut the uh, printer head on. I mean, cut the printer on. Make sure there's nothing in the way. We did take those wheels out. And, um, uh oh. See what we got going on. See, we have a light already. I was hoping maybe one of them came on. Uh, two ink, ink, ink cartridges. This one and this one. Maybe I got them mixed up. Let's see. Sometimes you get them mixed up. Nope. Let's see, look, it's ready. <laughs> so now we have her already ready. She's done, she's ready to go. Basically right now what you're gonna do is a couple head bite this cleaning. What that's gonna do is gonna get all that old ink out. Me personally, I would do it three times. Wow, okay, now you see the ink cartridge came back again. That is one great thing I do like about this. 
because oh my god yeah you have to yeah so basically after that you do a couple of head cleanings I see I'm gonna uh, deal with this one and uh, get it hooked up to the cat link and if everything, and uh, be doing a little printing with it. All right, thank you, big boy out. All right, all right, yeah, so we got her. We got her printing at the play the chip game. One thing I'm gonna tell you, these chips, take them in, take them out, move it in, move it out. Oh, my bad, I'm sorry. Yeah, we gotta, uh, <clears throat> you gotta take them in and out. There's my baby right there. And there's my test one. Once we get to do with this one, I have another one right there. Da -da -da. And I have another one right there. So I'm gonna be a pretty busy boy. I just want y'all to see. About 95% done. As you see, this is the one that we just, we just got through. It's a lot easier for me now because I've already uh, broken them down. Um, like I say, man, if y'all have any questions, any problems, you know, hey man, leave a comment there for the big boy. And, uh, you know, I'll answer, I'll get back. Like I say, don't forget, I am an authorized dealer for Cadlink. Uh, so if you need that two week free trial, um, I am here. Any questions you might have, definitely join us on uh, <clears throat> Big Boy Press Facebook group. Uh, got a lot of people in there doing a lot of unique things. Oh, man, this is the first print. So I don't know how it's gonna turn out. <laughs> yep. Doing the self cleaning. All right. So it has a little line going down right there. I'm gonna see what that's about. Probably just need to clean the head. But yeah, have a great one. Big boy out.